back to Justin's Arcade. Today I just wanted to put out a quick video on a quick procedure of how to replace an EP ROM chip on your game PCB. And you might want to do that if you have a ROM chip that was damaged and you needed to reburn a new one, or you might even have a customized ROM with some customized gameplay or graphics or whatever and you want to throw that onto your board. Uh, it's a pretty simple procedure. All you need is a flat blade screwdriver and some patience and you just pop the ROM chip off and put the new one back on top. So let's get started. All right, so first off, you need the PCB that you're gonna replace the ROM chip on. This is a Miss Pac-Man auxiliary daughter board. You're gonna need a flat blade screwdriver and the smaller and thinner, the better. And then finally, you're gonna need the ROM chips that you're going to replace. Okay, so the chip I'm going to be replacing is U7. And what you want to do is take your flat blade screwdriver and you're going to put it under the chip here. And you want to be very careful and make sure that you're not putting it under the ROM socket. Because if you wedge it under there and you pop it up, um, you're going to, going to ruin the board and you're going to have to resolder that chip. But as long as you make sure your flat blade screwdriver is right under the chip in between the socket, push just a little bit, be very gentle, just to the point where you've got it wedged under there and then you can give it a little push upwards and then slowly slide this screwdriver further in and keep prying, gentle as you can be. And then once you get to this part, it's probably tempting to grab the chip and pull, but if you pull to the left or to the right, you could bend the pins. So once I get this far, what I usually do is grab the chip with both of my fingers here, put the screwdriver back in and just kind of give a little downward pressure so that the chip doesn't come up too fast and then pry straight up so you don't bend the pins there. Here's the chip, cut it out. And then you can get your replacement chip. So one thing to note here is there's a direction in which these go. Um, you can see at the top of the chip here, there's a little dash, a little notch, it's kind of hard to see. Um, you can also look on the board here for that same notch. Uh, it's, on, it's on the ROM socket itself, but it's also on the silk screen of the board. You can see that little notch right there. So before you push, push the chip in there, just make sure the pins all look kind of straight. None of them are bent uh, too crazily. And then we're gonna look for that top notch and we're gonna make sure that it's positioned in the right spot. Now here, what you're gonna notice is that when you try to put it in, what's gonna happen is half the pins on one side are gonna go in, but the other ones are gonna be sticking out and you can try to reposition it and you'll see now it's kind of, kind of the opposite. Now this side's sticking out and it's kind of tempting to put one side in and then try to get the pins in, but that will end up bending the pins. So what I usually try to do is take the chip keep it as level as possible and just kind of set it on the top and you'll see that none of the pins are in but I'm just gonna wiggle it around very gently and if you keep it level you'll eventually feel all of the pins line up okay there we go I felt it go down a little bit so at this point we just want to double check all of the pins here we can see all of the pins are in, not sticking over the edge. Same thing on this side, they're all in there. And then once you're sure all the pins are in, you're gonna apply pressure to both sides, kind of evenly across the top here. And then it should rock right into place. And then again, just kind of look at it and make sure none of the pins are bending outwards. Looks good. And then at this point, you can take your board back to your machine and plug it back in. And in my case, I'm just gonna reconnect the Miss Pac-Man auxiliary board to the main board here and uh, test it out on the workbench. All right, let's fire it up and see if it worked. Hey, that's a good sign. And if we take a look at the bottom here, you can see the customized text that's on my ROM chip. 
Alright, well if you found this video useful, please give me a like or subscribe. And if you're also interested on how to customize the text on your arcade machine to say the name of your game room or your name, uh, stay tuned because I'll have some more info on that coming soon. But that's it for now. We'll see you next time.